Good morning everyone, I'm Mark Jordano Flores and our topic for today is all about 18th century mathematics. Introduction The history of 18th century mathematics began in the late 17th century wherein most of it in the good part of early 18th century were taken up by the work disciples of Newton and Leibniz who applied their ideas and calculus to solving a variety of problems in physics astronomy and engineering this is the calculus of variations deals with finding maxima and minima of functionals christian goldbach a german mathematician who proposed a goldbach conjecture in a letter of euler in 1742 which states that even integer greater than two can be expressed as the sum of two primes or in another equivalent version Every integer greater than 5 can be expressed as the sum of 3 primes. Another version is the so-called weak Goldbach conjecture. All odd numbers greater than 7 are the sum of 3 odd primes. He also proved that theorems in number theory such as goldbach euler theorem on perfect powers. Abraham de Moivre He is best known for Moivre's formula, which links complex numbers and trigonometry. He also generalized Newton's famous binomial theorem into a multinomial theorem pioneered the development of analytical geometry in his work on the normal distribution. He gave the first statement of the formula for the normal distribution curve and probability theory were of great importance. Joseph Louis Lagrange He contributed to differential equations and number theory and he is usually credited with originating the theory of group which could become so important in 19th century and 20th century mathematics. His name is given an early theorem in the group theory, which states that the number of elements of every subgroup of a finite group divides evenly into the number of elements of original finite group. He was also credited with the four squares theorem. Any natural can be represented as the sum of four squares. Lagrange means value theorem states that for any section of a continuous smooth curve, there will always be a point C at which the derivative or slope of the curve will be the same as the average curve of the section. Lagrange theorem or Lagrange mean value theorem states that given a section of a smooth continuous differential curve, there is at least one point on that section at which the derivative or slope of the curve is equal or parallel to the average or mean derivative of the section. Lagrange 1788 treatise on Analytical mechanics offered the most comprehensive treatment of classical mechanics since Newton and form a basis for the development of mathematical physics in 19th century. Pierce Simon Laplace Sometimes referred to as the French Newton and was an important mathematician and astronomer. His monumental work, Celestial Mechanics, translated the geometric study of classical mechanics to one based on calculus, opening up as much broader range of problems about the mathematical and philosophical concepts of probability and statistics in the 1770s he developed his own version of the so-called bayesian interpretations of probability independently of thomas bias he is well known for his belief in complete scientific determinism and he maintained that there should be a set of scientific laws that would allow us at least in principles to predict everything about the universe and how it works. Adrian Marie Legendre. He also made important contributions to statistics, number theory, abstract algebra, and mathematical analysis in the late 18th and early 19th century. The least squares method for curve fitting and linear regression, the quadratic reciprocity law, the prime number theorem, and his works of elliptic function. Much of this work of him was only brought to perfections, or at least to general notice by others, particularly Gauss. His Elements of Geometry in 1794, a reworking of Euclid's book, became the leading geometry textbook for almost 100 years and his extremely accurate measurement of the terrestrial meridian inspired the creation and almost universal adoption of the metric system of measures and weights. This is the first six legendary polynomials. Gaspard Monge, a Frenchman mathematics and was the inventor of descriptive geometry, a clever method of representing three-dimensional object by projection on the two-dimensional place using a specific set of procedures 
a technique which would later become important in the field of engineering, architecture, and design. His orthographic projections become the graphical method used in almost all modern mechanical drawing. Johann Lambert, a Swiss mathematical and prominent astronomer who provided a rigorous proof in 1761 that pi is irrational, it can be not expressed as a simple fraction using integers only or as a terminating or repeating decimals. Ferdinand von Lindemann, he was the first to introduce hyperbolic functions into trigonometry and made some prescient conjectures regarding non-Euclidean space and the properties of hyperbolic triangles over 100 years, 1882. He also proved that pi is also transcendental. Example, it cannot be the root of any polynomials equations with rational coefficient. Jacob, 1654-1705 and Johann Bernoulli, 1667-1748. Bernoulli brothers, unusually in the history of mathematics, a single family, the Bernoullis produced half a dozen outstanding mathematicians over a couple of generations at the end of 17th and start of the 18th century. The Bernoulli family was a prosperous family of traders and scholars from the three city of Basel in Switzerland, which at the time was the great commercial hub of Central Europe. The brothers Jacob and John Bernoulli, however, flew to their father's wishes for them to take the over the family spice business or the entire respectable professions like medicines or the ministry and began studying mathematics together. After John graduated from Basel University, the two developed a rather jealous and competitive relations. Johann in particular was jealous of the elder Jacob's positions as professor at Basel University and the two often attempted to outdo each other. After Jacob's early death, from tuberculosis, John took over his brother's positions, one of his young students being the great Swiss mathematician, Leonard Euler. However, John merely shifted his jealousy toward his own talented son, Daniel. At one point, John published a book based on Daniel's work, even changing the date to make it look as though his book had been published before his sons. John received a taste of his own medicine, though when his student, Guillaume de Hospital, published a book in his own name consisting almost entirely of John's lectures, including his now famous rule about zero divided by zero. It is a problem which had dodged mathematicians since Bhamaguptas, initial work on the rule of dealing with zero back in the 17th century. This showed that zero divided by zero does not equal zero, does not equal one, does not equal infinity, and is not even undefined, but is indeterminate, meaning it could equal any numbers. The rule is still usually known as Thai Hopital's rules and not Bernoulli's rules. Despite their competitive and combative personal relationship, though the brothers both had a clear aptitude for mathematics at high level and constantly challenged and inspired each other, they established an early correspondence with Gottfried Leibniz and were among the first mathematicians to not only study and understand infinitesimal calculus but to apply it to various problems. They became instrumental in disseminating and newly discovered knowledge of calculus and helping to make it the cornerstone of mathematics it has become today. This is the Brockes to Crone problem. The red Brockes to Crone inverted cycloid curve is the curve of fastest descent between two points. The Bernoulli's first derived the Brockes to Crone curve using his calculus of variation method. This application was an example of calculus of variation a generalization of infinitesimal calculus that the Bernoulli brothers developed together and has since proved useful in fields as diverse as engineering, financial investment, architecture, and construction. And even space travel, John also derived the equation for catenary curve such as that formed by a chain hanging between two posts, a problem presented to him by his brother Jacob. This is the Bernoulli numbers are a sequence of rational numbers with deep connections to number theory. Jacob Bernoulli's book, The Art of Conjecture, published posthumously in 1713, consolidated existing knowledge on probability theory and expected values, as well as adding personal contributions such as his theory of permutations and combinations, Bernoulli trials and Bernoulli distributions, and some important elements of number theory, such as the Bernoulli number sequence. He also published papers on transcend 
dental curves and became the first person to develop the technique for solving separable differential equations. The set of nonlinear but solvable differential equations are now named after him. He invented polar coordinates, a method of describing the location of points in space using angles and distances, and was the first to use the word integral to refer to the area under a curve. Jacob Bernoulli also discovered the approximate value of the irrational number E while exploring the compound interest of low ones. When compounded at 100% interest annually, $1 becomes $2 after one year. When compounded semi-annually, it produces $2.25 compounded quarterly, $2.44 monthly, $2.61 weekly, $2.69 daily, $2.71, etc. If it were to be compounded continuously, the $1 would tend toward a value of $2.7182818, etc. after a year. A value which became known as E. Algebraically, it is the value of infinite series 1 plus 1 over 1, 1 times 1 plus 1 over 2 squared, and etc. This is Lunar Euler, 1704 to 1788. Lunar Euler was one of the giants of 18th century mathematics. Like the Bernoullis, he was born in Basel, Switzerland, and he studied for a while under Johann Bernoulli at Basel University. But Partly due to the overwhelming dominance of Bernoulli's family in Swiss mathematics and the difficulty of finding a good position and recognition in his hometown, he spent most of his academic life in Russia and Germany, especially in the burgeoning St. Petersburg of Peter and Great and Catherine the Great. Despite a long life of 13 children, Euler had more than his fair share of tragedies and deaths, and even his blindness latter in life did not slow his prodigious output. His collected works comprised nearly 900 books and in the year 1775, he is said to have produced an average one mathematical paper every week as he compensated for it with his mental calculations, skills, and photographic memory. Today, Euler is considered one of the greatest mathematicians of all time. His interests covered almost all aspects of mathematics from geometry to calculus to trigonometry to algebra to number theory as well as optics, astronomy, cartography, mechanics, weights and measures and even the theory of music. This is the mathematical notation created or popularized by Euler. He even managed to combine several of these together in an amazing feat of mathematical alchemy to produce one of most beautiful of all mathematical equations e i pi equals negative one sometimes known as euler's identity this equation combines arithmetic calculus trigonometry and complex analysis into what has been called the most remarkable formula in mathematics uncanny and sublime and filled with cosmic beauty among other descriptions another such discovery often Known simply as Euler's formula is E i x equals cos x plus i sin x. In fact, in a recent poll of mathematicians, three of the top five most beautiful formulae of all time were Euler's. He seemed to have an instinctive ability to demonstrate the deep relationship between trigonometry, exponentials, and complex numbers. The discovery that initially sealed Euler's reputations was announced in 1735 and concerned the calculations of infinite sums. It was called the Basel problem after the Bernoullis had tried and failed to solve it and asked what was the precise sum of the sum reciprocals of the squares of all the natural numbers to infinity. Euler's friend Daniel Bernoulli had estimated the sum to be about 1, 3 over 5, but Euler's superior method yielded the exact but rather unexpected result of pi 2 over 6. He also showed that the infinite series was equivalent to an infinite product of prime numbers and identity which would later inspire Riemann's investigations of complex zeta functions. This is the seven bridges of Konigsberg's problem. Also in 1735, Euler solved an intransigent mathematical and logical problem known as a seven bridges of Konigsberg's problem which had perplexed scholars for many years and in doing so laid the foundations of group theory and presage the important mathematical idea of, of topology. The city of Königsberg in Prussia was set on both sides of the Prigel River and included two large islands which were connected to each other in the mainland by seven bridges. The problem was to find the route 
through the city that would cross its bridge once and once only. In fact, Euler proved that the problem has no solutions, but in doing so, he made the co important conceptual leap of pointing out the choice of route within its landmass is irrelevant and only important features is the sequence of bridges crossed. This allowed him to reformulate the problem in abstract terms, replacing each landmass with an abstract node and each bridge with an abstract connection. This resulted in a mathematical structure called a graph, a pictorial representation made up of points verticals connected by non-intersecting curves arcs, which may be distorted in any way without changing the graph itself. This is the Euler characteristics for convex polyhedra always equals to. The list of theorems and methods pioneered by Euler in immense and largely outside the scope of an entry-level study such as this but mention could be made of just some of them. The demonstration of geometrical properties such as Euler's line and Euler's circle. The definition of Euler characteristics X, G, or the surfaces of polyhedra, whereby the number of vertices minus the number of edges plus the number of faces always equals 2. A new method for solving quadratic equations, the prime number theorem, which describes the asymptomatic distribution of the prime numbers. Proof of some of Fermat's theorems and conjectures. The discovery of over 60 amicable numbers, although some were actually incorrect. A method of calculating integrals with complex limits. Calculus of variations including the best known result, the Euler-Lagrange equations. A proof of the infinitude of primes using the divergence of the harmonic series. The integration of Leibniz differential calculus with Newton's method of fluxions into a form of calculus we would recognize today, as well as the development of tools to make it easier to apply calculus to real physics problems, and etc. In 1766, Euler accepted the in invitation from Catherine the Great to return to St. Petersburg's Academy and spent the rest of his life in Russia. However, his second stay in the country was married by tragedy, including a fire in 1771, which cost him his home and almost his life, and the loss in 1773 of his dear wife of 40 years, Katarina. He later married Katarina's half-sister, Salome Abigail, and this marriage would last until his death from the bring him more in 1783.